YouTube. I am here today with a skincare haul. Uh, recently, my skin has been going crazy. I don't know what's going on. It's probably the weather, but I think it also partially has to do with the fact that I've been trying out different skin products from like my Etsy bags and the Target boxes and stuff. So I haven't had like a consistent uh, skincare routine and my skin has just been freaking out. I've had breakouts, I've had dry patches, I have oiliness, it's just, it's gone mad. So I decided that I'm going to really focus on trying to get my skin back to where I had it, which it actually was in really great shape <laughs> before I started messing with it. And I decided to do that by just focusing in on the products that I'm using, and I decided to give the Pixi products, uh, I decided to give them a shot. So I got, this is the Pixi Nourishing uh, Sleep Mask. I've talked about this before in an empties video. I love this stuff and this is actually the reason why I decided to try out their other skincare items because this stuff was so amazing. It really just plumps and hydrates and makes your skin feel healthy and wonderful when you wake up and it's great. It's got all sorts of different oils in it, jojoba oil, lavender oil, rose geranium oil, and it's just, this has really been a hit for me. So I am excited to get back to using this. I was using a first aid one that was like a radiance firming something. It was good, but it wasn't as good as my beloved Pixie. So I'm going to go back to this one. The other things from Pixie that I picked up were... The Overnight Glow Serum to go with the Nourishing Mask. I like to use the serum under my moisturizers, always, morning, night, whenever, uh, just because I'm, I feel like it gives you that extra hydration. So this is, has a glycolic acid, aloe vera, and cucumber in it. Hopefully going to be awesome. I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm very excited to try it out. Whoa! It comes with a dropper outside of the bottle. That's kind of fun. And all the bottles. I thought it was going to be white, but it's green and gold. I love pixie packaging. I think it's adorable. I'm going to smell it. Oh. <laughs> There's a stopper in there. <laughs> oh. That's normal for me. There's not much of a scent, which is great. Not really interesting. Oh, it's thick. Really thick, which is nice. Yeah, there's hardly any scent at all, which I think is great. I hate scented products. I would rather the product smelled like chemicals than like flowers or something, unless it has flowers in it. I just, I don't really like scented skincare items. So I am super excited about this. I cannot wait to try it out. I'm going to try it out tonight. I'm going to, tonight's the night I'm going to start my skincare routine. So I will definitely update you guys and let you know how it goes. Uh, the other stuff I got from Pixie was uh, this little package. It's the, um, it has the glow mud mask, the glow tonic, and the glow cleanser. I love the mud mask. I've tried it before and it was phenomenal. And I know I've tried the tonic before, but I don't remember how I felt about it. I think if I hated it, I would remember that. So, it's supposed to be exfoliating. Which I don't remember how that's supposed to work, but that's nice. Oh, it's probably the glycolic acid in it that is exfoliating. And the cleanser. I'm always down for a good cleanser. So, I'm going to give them a shot, and then if I like them, I'll probably buy the full size. And the last item I got from Pixie is their Makeup Fixing Mist. I don't know if you guys can read it because it's in like metallic writing, but it's a makeup setting spray. I love the misters on Pixie's products. All of the ones I've tried have been really fine mist, so I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out. It says you can use it before makeup, after makeup, while you're wearing makeup, whenever you friggin' want to. I... I'm really looking forward to trying that out. I have not found one thing that I dislike from Pixie. Everything I've tried has been um, great, honestly. From their eyeliners to their lipsticks to their skincare to what have you. Everything that I've gotten from Pixie I really liked. I've got high hopes for this. And that's it from Pixie. The other stuff that I got um, 
I was at Ulta and I saw this uh, nip and fab glycolic acid exfoliator and I really wanted to give it a shot. I've been kind of into the whole, like I exfoliate all the time, probably too much. I, like I have dry skin and it's really rough and I love the way it feels. It feels so good to exfoliate. So I'm looking forward to trying this out and because I had buy one get one 50% 50 or 40% off, I can't remember. I also got the uh, Nip and Fab Viper Venom Night Fix, etc. It's just a night mask. It's supposed to have venom in it from a specific kind of viper that's not even in English. Wow, okay, here we go. Uh, Temple Viper. It has retinol and hydraulic acid in it as well. So it's, you know, just supposed to plump and just leave your skin feeling less crepey or, you know, like, I hate the under my under eyes especially. It gets really crepey, all these tiny little fine lines, and it just get dries out really fast. I wouldn't put this under my eyes, but I'm looking forward to trying this out. And it has a stopper. I realized it this time. <sighs> that smells really weird. It's not a bad smell. It's a very clean smell, but... It's definitely um, vaguely florally, which I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of, but as long as it goes away and it doesn't linger, then I'm okay with it. The first aid one I was using smelled like glue, like straight up glue, and I'll probably talk about that in an empties video, but it was uh, borderline nauseating. <laughs> Another thing I got real quick was the uh, Bliss Triple Oxygen Radiance Restoring Spray Mist. I uh, tried a couple things from Bliss and really liked it, and I mean, who doesn't want to have their radiance restored? So, oh, I love Bliss packaging too. It's just really pretty. It's very classy. That's a very fine mist. It smells like alcohol though, which makes me nervous. Does it have any ingredients on here? Um, alcohol is the second thing. Alright, so I'm going to give it a shot, but I don't know how I'm going to like that because alcohol does not, like, people with dry skin should not use things with alcohol in them. So hopefully that works. If not, then whatever. I guess my radiance won't be restored. I should be pretty freaking glowy after all of this glow stuff, though, from Pixi. So if the radiance doesn't get restored, I think I'll live. So the last thing I got, or the last things that I got were, um masks because I am addicted to masks. I'm addicted to cheap masks, to spreading goop on my face, to all kinds of masks. I just love them. So I'm going to go through them really quick. I got um, the 7th Heaven black seaweed one. These smell horrendous. They smell terrible, but they work. They make your skin feel amazing. Just so healthy and smooth and wonderful. So... I got them again, and I'm just going to have to plug my nose while I'm using them, because they really do work. I actually found um, Andalou Naturals at my local uh, drugstore, which I had never seen. I've only ever seen this brand at Target, so I'm pretty excited to try out their face masks. I've never tried them before. I've tried some of their skincare, but never the, um, the mask. So this is, I think this is a sheet mask. Yep, a sheet mask. Age-defying hydro serum enriched with fruit stem cell science. I think it said that on the um, 1000 Roses Beautiful Day Cream stem cell science. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Uh, it's supposed to hydrate, smooth, nourish, plump, make you look more lifted, firmer, etc., etc., etc. So I love anything firming. I just like that feeling. Very excited about that. I had good luck with the um, the day cream that I tried. So, hopefully the rest of their stuff is good. These are... I think these are basically the same thing, but they're in like a cream, or like a gel format. Yeah, it's got the same fruit stem cell science in it. Uh, fruit juice enzymes gently dissolve dull, dry surface cells to reveal skin's beauty and revitalized complexion. So, I think these are pretty much the same idea as the sheet mask but they're in like um just they're in like a like a gel mask form so i'm gonna give those a shot if i don't like them then whatever they were buy one get one at my drugstore so i bought one on my own 
And then the last thing I got are some more SNP animal masks. I tried out the lion one and really liked it. I mean, I didn't want to sound surprised when I say that, but they seem a little bit gimmicky because it looks like a lion. That's actually what the sheet mask looks like. But they really did work. This just made my skin feel uh, hydrated and smooth and just really wonderful. I got that one again. I've tried this one before, but I haven't tried any of the other ones. So I got the Cat Wrinkle Face Art Mask Sheet. And this one's supposed to help with uh, wrinkles, obviously. Resilience is supposed to be soothing and hydrating. And, I mean, if that's what the cat looks like on my face, then I will be very happy. And my daughter thinks that these are hilarious, so that's always a plus. Rather than saying, Mommy face yucky, she says, Mommy face looks like kitty. And the last one I got is the Animal Dragon uh, Soothing Mask Sheet. Uh, this is supposed to be for, like, oil control, um, skin relief, moisturizing, and vitality. I mean, I do have, like I said in the beginning, I have oily patches and dry patches and just it's like all over the place. I find that my forehead has been insanely oily and then like my whole jawline, even like right on my right here, it gets so dry. And what I've been having to do is use a lightweight moisturizer on my forehead and then I've been using the Tarte Maracuja oil on my jawline, just trying to keep a balance and it's just it's not working. So I got a bunch of different stuff to try. Hopefully something works and I can get my skin back under control. That is everything I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you tried any of these products or if you want me to do like an update on them or just any skincare that you would recommend for someone who's having issues like I am with the dryness and the oiliness and the whatever. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video.